Our tip of the week this week is setting a default three view and bookmark views. This is actually an important one um, for those of you who, who even uh, create Vimex uh, models already. Uh, you may not know how to set the default three view or bookmark view. So first, uh, what you want to do is to open up uh, your and, and, and your camera settings and create a Bimex bookmarks camera pack. Okay, uh, this is where you can save um, different views, including your default view. So the first thing you want to do is to go down to your camera tool, double click that, it'll open up your camera settings. Once the camera settings are open, click new, type in Bimex bookmarks. Again, you can make it any name you want, uh, but you want to have uh, defined as Bimex simply so that you know this is for uh, your Bimex views. And you need to have this selected anytime you export and publish a BIMX model. Otherwise, it's going to default to whatever views you have set up. Once you've done that, <clears throat> done that, you want to draw a camera in the plan to create the default view. So whatever is the first camera, okay, within the camera settings here is going to be the default view when you publish this. So even if you have, draw no other cameras in this, um, as long as you've got this selected and that one camera selected, that will be your default view uh, for your Vimex um, model. Once you do that, you then want to add additional cameras uh, within your project. And you'll notice and, and be aware of the, the, the sort of um, order that you place these cameras because what happens is there's no easy way to kind of you decide, oh, I want to move this camera and make this number three now instead of number two. There's not really an easy way to do that. So it's really good, if you can, to go ahead and place the cameras in the order you want them because that's the way they will appear as bookmarks. So when I go to publish this, it's going to create bookmarks for me um, and saved favorites, if you will, uh, for views in both my desktop and in my um, uh, uh and in my um, mobile version. So you wanna save those, okay? I'll create that. And then you wanna publish it, right? So I remember, mentioned earlier, you're gonna file, select like publish, and publish, the next hyper model will come up. You publish it. And then when you open it, you're going to have these pre-saved gallery views. And this is really, really helpful. Uh, the reason why it's helpful is because one, if you are um, you know, doing a presentation, you don't have to sit there and you know uh, walk through every part of the project in order to get to some part of the project that you want to talk about. You can have pre-saved views here, so you double-click that view, it automatically takes you to that uh, view of the project, and then you can move around that part. Double-click another view, you can go to that view. So this is really helpful to quickly move through your project and be able to um, uh, navigate it uh, quickly. So that's the way that works. And that is our uh, tip of the week.